Hey guys, Donovan here, and I'm gonna take you around and show you some of Gainesville's newest neighborhoods and some of the best communities just outside of town. But before doing that, I do have to let you know, I am not the listing agent for any of these communities or directly working with any of these builders representing them. The good news is they are all willing to work with a buyer side agent. So if you're working with me or any other agents in town, that relationship can continue. You just have to reach out to us and let you know which communities you like so we can get you registered and make sure everything's taken care of. So the first new neighborhood that you're going to want to check out is actually over in Jonesville and that is going to be Terra Estates. Terra Estates is a subdivision being built out by Miranda Homes and it's actually like I said over in Jonesville but it will have a Newberry address. This is actually directly behind town of Tioga so you're going to be in a great location, tons of stuff to walk to, just a beautiful community but without the high price of the actual neighborhood within town of Tioga. So lots of the benefit but a little bit less cost. You'll be about 20-25 minutes to the University of Florida, downtown Gainesville in that area. Um, home prices in Terra Estates are gonna range from about $375,000 on up closer to $500,000. This is a smaller subdivision. There's only gonna be about 45 lots over there. But again, a great location, great community feel, lots to do within walking distance, and definitely something that should be on your radar if you're looking in that area. Now make sure you stay tuned to the very end because of course I've saved the best for last and it's definitely gonna be one of the most unique neighborhoods we've seen come to the area. So the next new neighborhood on my list is actually gonna be out in Newberry and that's gonna be Avalon Woods. Even though it's out in Newberry, it's really not that far. You could expect it to take you about 30 minutes to get back into the University of Florida and Chance Hospital in that area. This is going to be a large subdivision though. Uh, DR Horton has already planned for about 391 homes. You've also got Miranda Homes out there that's gonna be building. So I would expect it to be, you know, eight, 900 homes when it's all said and done. This community will likely look similar to Oak Park in Newberry. And I'll give you a little glimpse of that. Um, but as of right now, it's pretty much just clear cut. They will start selling and being ready in spring and summer of 2022. So if you're looking mid-year towards end of the year 2022, these could definitely be some great options for you. Most of the homes out in this area are gonna range from about 300 to $400,000, but it really depends on the builder, the layout, of course, all of the details and options you decide on. But this is a great option if you're looking to get a little more bang for your buck. You don't mind being, like I said, about 30 minutes outside of Gainesville. This would definitely be an option to consider. So if you prefer the low maintenance lifestyle of condo living, you'll definitely want to look into Emerson. Emerson is going to be located just off of Williston Road and you'll only be about three miles or 10 minutes to University of Florida, Shands Hospital and all of that. The great thing about this location is you're extremely close to a ton of shopping, dining, lots of different activities and things going on, but you're not right in the middle of it and just surrounded by traffic. So Archer Road is where all of that stuff is typically, and just being right just a street over on Williston makes it a really convenient location. So there's gonna be about 58 total residents in this community. They're expecting a September 2022 date so definitely keep an eye out for it look for the updates um, there will be a community pool community gardens nature trails it's going to be a really nice community and the price will range from roughly about three hundred and thirty five thousand dollars on up over seven hundred thousand dollars in that 335 range you can expect to find a one bedroom one and a half, one and a half bathrooms with just under a thousand square feet as you get up over 700,000, you can expect three bedrooms with three and a half bathrooms and over 2,200 square feet along with a garage. So they've got a lot of range, a lot of different options. So if you're looking to build a custom home on a slightly larger lot, maybe with some acreage, you're definitely gonna wanna go over and check out Kingston. So Kingston is going to have a Newberry address, but it's back in that Jonesville area. It's actually located off of 241, directly behind a popu another popular neighborhood in Belmont. So Kingston currently has 24 lots, and all of these lots are going to range right around three acres. 
The um, builder and developer for Kingston is Arthur Ruddenberg. Definitely builds a beautiful high quality home. The homes in this neighborhood are gonna range from about 3,200 square feet on up over 8,000 square feet. For that lot, the initial price on the lot, you can expect to spend about 206,000 on up closer to 230,000, depending on which one you would choose. But again, the great thing about Kingston is all of the lots have not been clear cut. So if you want some trees on your property, you can pick and choose what stays and what goes and have some options and flexibility when it comes to the trees that remain on the home site. So recently I've had a bunch of people reaching out to me and I absolutely love it. If you have any questions or you're thinking about moving to Gainesville, don't hesitate. Give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. Let me know what questions you have and how I can help. Now for the neighborhood that I'm probably the most excited and curious about, that's going to be Flint Rock. So Flint Rock is actually going to be the area's first agri-hood. And because it's the first, most people aren't very familiar with what that is. They're gonna basically combine agriculture within the neighborhood. And they're actually gonna do that by planting over 65,000 longleaf pine trees. And in addition to that, you're gonna have tons of various fruit trees and pecan trees, community gardens. So they're really gonna to try to intertwine agriculture within the neighborhood. The lots are also going to be a bit larger than most new development communities. So the lots in Flint Rock are going to range from about one acre on up closer to 1.7 acres. In total, there's going to be about 96 homes within the neighborhood. And you've also got a ton of great builders to choose from building out in Flint Rock. You've got Barry Bullard Homes, Jeffrey Wild, Lash Development, Pridgen Homes, Tommy Waters and Warring Homes. So really the best of the best when it comes to builders. One of the other huge benefits that Flint Rock is gonna have over some of the nearby communities is that it's gonna be on clay electric. It will have GRU gas, but then the water is actually gonna be well water. So overall, you can expect your utilities to be much lower than any of the other nearby communities. So Flint Rock is actually going to have an Archer address, but it's located just off of Parker Road. You'll be about 20, 25 minutes from the University of Florida and Shands Hospital. You'll also be extremely close to Gainesville's newest elementary school in Twilliger. And then you've also got Diamond Sports Park really close by where they do tons of sporting events and youth sports and baseball, rec leagues, all of that sort of thing. When it comes to pricing, it really depends. There's gonna be three separate gated sections within Flint Rock, but the lots are gonna range roughly around $175,000 for that you know, one to 1.7 acres. And then depending on who you're choosing to build with and what you're gonna do from there, the prices will obviously range a bit, but Flint Rock has a ton of benefits, a lot of unique, interesting things going for it. And if you're looking for something a little bit different, something unique, something not so cookie cutter, definitely check out Flint Rock. So now that you know about some of the newest neighborhoods in and around Gainesville, what you'll want to do next is go ahead and watch this video where I drive you around town and give you an even better feel for what you can expect if you're moving to the area.